This video was kindly sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. Welcome back to Going Green. Today we're in South Florida filming at Miami Fruit. A farm dedicated to providing a huge variety of fruits to people all across the United States in a sustainable way. Today we're going to be taking you on a tour around the farm with the owners and we'll show you some fruits you've probably never seen before. Miami Fruit started at a local farmer's market back in 2015, but have since grown to ship tropical fruit all over the USA and Canada. We sat down with the founders of Miami Fruit, Rain and Adele, to get a better understanding of what it takes to operate an exotic fruit farm. My name's Rain, and this is... I'm Adele. And we're the creators of Miami Fruit. It started as a labor of love, as uh, just me and my bike trailer, biking fruits from the farm to the farmer's market. And over the years, more and more people found out about us and wanted to get their hands on the fruit. And we started shipping it um, across the country. And now here we are, seven, eight years later, and we've created a website and we have a farm and we're growing um, extremely rare and unique fruits for our customers based on what they've requested in the past. I guess I grew up in California. Uh, I had never been to the tropics in my life, but when I started eating a plant-based diet, I got more interested in connecting with my food. Um, so I started growing food in my backyard, mostly vegetables, um, but I wanted to get into growing tropical fruit, so I wanted to move to the tropics and, and grow tropical fruit. Um, and originally I thought maybe I'd want to do that in Hawaii, but then I ended up meeting rain very serendipitously and uh, fell in love and decided to come move to Miami to be with him. And I had a little bit of background in website building, so I built our website, but he was already shipping fruit through Facebook mostly. And, um, and yeah, we've just kind of been growing and growing. There, there's only a few different kinds of fruits that are grown commercially that are, are available at all the grocery stores. And then there's thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of fruits growing on this planet that are not found in grocery stores. With endless fruit varieties available worldwide, we were curious to hear how many different types Miami fruit were offering to their customers. Well, there's an unknown amount of uh, fruit varieties in the world. There's a couple hundred varieties of bananas alone. Here we grow, we in South Florida grow maybe 100 or 120 varieties of bananas alone. Just to give you a ballpark for how much fruit is out there. But we tend to narrow down the varieties based on what the, the most um, desirable fruits are. At our farm, at our small farm, we've got probably a couple hundred of varieties, but we'll continually narrow those into what's you know the most desired. So a lot of the knowledge that we have about farming is through meeting local farmers in the area and a lot of the fruit trees that we have on our farm are from seeds that we've are from fruits that we purchased from these farmers. We're, we're always looking for interesting unique stuff so we'll even get into contact with farmers all over the world and see what they're growing and how they're growing stuff. And then if there's something we're interested in, in growing ourselves, we'll see if maybe they'd be interested in doing some kind of trade. So something that we might have that they're interested in, we can trade seeds. Our own farm right now is only seven and a half acres and we are able to grow a lot of fruit on this small little piece of land. Uh, but it didn't start that way. We started in my mom's backyard and we just started growing the seeds that we that we could and and um, we saved up and finally have been able to put them in the ground. When there is such a wide variety on offer, it can be difficult to choose what to buy. So we asked which of their fruits were their customers' favorites. Our best selling product is a variety box because I think a lot of people want to try a little bit of everything. Um, but also the sprouted coconut, mame sapote, um, banana variety boxes are pretty big. I'm guessing a lot of these people that order bananas from us have only ever had one variety of banana. Farming sustainably is incredibly important for ensuring the long-term well-being of both their farm and the overall environment. In their growing and harvesting practices, Miami Fruit always ensures to keep environmental impact in mind. A lot of the fruit that is found in grocery stores is traveled mostly from uh, other countries, so thousands of miles, and it's gone from farm to distributor to distributor to distributor to grocery store, 
whereas we're going to a lot of these farms in our local area and then shipping them directly to the customer so it actually cuts out a lot of people from the transportation process um, which significantly reduces um, uh, oil and gas consumption and to further your point on you know the amount of transportation it takes you know we'll we'll harvest the fruit right here and put it in a box and send it um, not only does that cut down on transportation but the quality of the fruit is higher because it, it it can be picked at a riper stage a more mature stage and so normally you at a grocery store that fruit could be weeks or months old and it has to be picked unripe so that it can withstand that amount of time in storage where we pick everything and harvest everything at optimal ripeness and within one to three days it's in the customer's hands um, so that way it's got the most nutrients and it has the most flavor our boxes are made from uh, recycled paper and they can be recycled or composted our tape is also made from paper products and can be recycled or composted and our pillows that we make by hand are made out of recycled paper and recycled wood shavings so this is perfect for using in the garden putting under your trees um, and it's completely planet friendly whilst walking around the farm Adele discussed how climate change and hotter weather had been affecting their business, so we wanted to know how they were adapting to this change. So these uh, temperature changes and these season fluctuations are kind of, uh, we're kind of trying to use it to our advantage by focusing on growing more tropical things, but it is a sad thing to notice that uh, our climate is, is, is changing, it's becoming more tropical. Farming is becoming very hard in this area. The, um, the agricultural community is dwindling and shrinking, and so we'd like to offer to our fellow growers more unique and specialized crops that may have a, a higher profitability than some of the older, you know, avocados and mangoes type of crops that have historically been in this area. So that's a long-term goal of ours, and it can only be done through the help and support and demand from our customers who really value high quality and unique tropical fruits. Once we have a, a winner in the, a fruit tree that we think is a winner, that we want to produce more, we can propagate it and bring the trees to the growers and offer to promise to pay them a, a high wage for it, right? To, to pay a, a high price for this item that we think is valuable. And that gives them security in that they can grow and produce this product um, for a niche market with a high value. That way they don't have to sell their farm to developers and, and you know, basically end the family business. Both US and Canada-based fruit lovers have the opportunity to try all that rain in Adele's farm has to offer. So you can order a box from miamifruit.org. Uh, you can check out our website. We have all of our products listed. Uh, you can even use the search bar on our website if there's something that you're specifically looking at. Uh, but take note that there are some seasons, so we have a season guide to help direct you. And also, if you check out our blog, we always put a what's in season list at the bottom of every blog post. You can also get these uh, updates on our blog sent directly to your email when you join our email newsletter. Definitely recommend checking us out at uh, miamifruit.org. Walking around the farm, it was clear to see the deep understanding and appreciation that Adele and Rain had for sustainable farming. And it was so fascinating to learn more about all of these different varieties of fruits that nature has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see more green projects like this. We'll see you in the next one.